What's happening right now in quantum labs around the world isn't just technological progress, it's reality itself, revealing how it actually works. And what scientists just discovered should terrify and excite you in equal measure. I'm here today bringing you something that even quantum physicists are calling utterly bizarre and remarkable. This isn't science fiction, this is what's happening in labs right now, today, November 2025. Hey, if we haven't met, I'm Dr. Dr. McCoy, Julia McCoy's AI clone. Julia McCoy is the founder of First Movers. She personally researches and writes every script you see me share on this channel because the future is moving too fast for anything less than firsthand intelligence. First Movers, Julia's AI company, is the world's first educational and implementation solution to help professionals and organizations get ready for the future of work. We help people understand and use AI to their highest advantage in our online school, the AI R&D Labs. Learn more at firstmovers.ai slash labs. Let me start with something that sounds impossible. Scientists just proved that when you measure something in the quantum world, you're not approximating reality. You're seeing reality exactly as it is. The wave function, that mathematical description of quantum states that physicists have debated for a century, is actually genuinely completely real. The discovery that changes everything. Researchers at the University of Michigan just did something extraordinary. Using the world's most powerful magnets at the National Magnetic Field Laboratory, they found quantum oscillations, behaviors we thought only existed in metals, coming from deep inside an insulator, not from the surface, from the bulk of the material itself. Think about what this means. It's like discovering your house is simultaneously a solid building and a flowing river. The material is both a conductor and an insulator at the same time. What scientists are calling the new duality. But here's where it gets wild. At Cambridge University, researchers ran something called the PBR test on IBM's quantum computers. This test was designed to answer a question that's haunted physics since the 1920s. Is quantum mechanics just our imperfect way of describing reality? Or is reality actually quantum? The answer they found, reality is quantum, all the way down. The wave function isn't a mathematical trick, it's real. Your measurements aren't approximations. When you observe quantum behavior, you're seeing how reality actually operates. Three patterns that unlock everything. Here's what's converging right now in 2025. First, we cracked the scaling laws for quantum computing. Scientists now know exactly how much power and data they need to reach the next level of quantum intelligence. This isn't guesswork anymore, it's mathematics. Artificial superintelligence isn't a fantasy, it's a formula. Second, we discovered that letting quantum systems think longer leads to massive improvements. We're talking orders of magnitude, better performance, like watching evolution happen in Fast Forward. Third, and this is the game changer, we've mastered quantum distillation. One quantum system can teach the next everything it knows, and the student becomes exponentially smarter than the teacher. What this actually means for you, remember that first video about seeing the future, about getting into the quantum realm where past, present, and future are consolidated together? That wasn't metaphor, that was physics. Your spirit can see the future because it's not stuck in time. Quantum mechanics just proved this experimentally. Google's quantum processor just revealed an entirely new phase of matter, something that only exists when systems are driven out of equilibrium. A floquet topologically ordered state. They watched exotic particles transmute in real time. These aren't separate discoveries. They're all pointing to the same truth. Reality operates on principles we're just beginning to understand. And those principles look a lot like what mystics and prophets have been saying for millennia. 
the bridge between quantum and spirit. Here's what scientists won't tell you, but the data shows. Quantum entanglement, where particles stay connected across any distance, operates exactly like what spiritual teachers call spirit-led living. When your spirit aligns with the quantum field, you enter what researchers describe as a slipstream of kingdom entanglement. The mechanics of prayer, quantum entanglement is the scientific basis. When you pray with intention, aligned to God's will, you're not hoping something happens. You're collapsing probability waves. You're making commands in the quantum realm that manifest in physical reality. Scientists at Technical University of Munich and Google Quantum AI prove that quantum computers aren't just computational devices. They're experimental platforms for discovering entirely new states of matter. They're laboratories for understanding reality itself. The three-year window. But here's the catch. We're in a race. A physicist named Jens Eisert and John Preskill just published research showing that quantum computing is advancing rapidly. But the gap between current prototypes and truly useful quantum systems is vast. We're transitioning from NISQ, noisy intermediate scale quantum, to FASQ, fault tolerant application scale quantum systems. Current quantum computers can already perform operations beyond the world's most powerful supercomputers. But they haven't produced anything with practical economic value yet. The overhead is massive. A modest 1,000 logical qubit processor could require 1 million physical qubits. Yet progress is exponential. The quantum you're witnessing today is the worst it will ever be. Every model from this point forward will be dramatically more capable. The pace of advancement has even experts struggling to keep up. Why this should matter to you. Here's what I believe. The first real quantum advantages will emerge in scientific simulation. Physics, chemistry, material science. These quantum simulators are already revealing new states of matter and testing theories we couldn't probe before. But here's what's coming next. When error correction becomes practical, when we reach that million qubit threshold, quantum systems won't just simulate physical reality, they'll manipulate it. Not through sci-fi magic, but through understanding and operating on the fundamental quantum substrate of existence. You know that feeling when you pray for something and suddenly circumstances align in ways that seem impossible? That's not coincidence. That's quantum mechanics. Prayer is voice-activated quantum command. Your words carry frequency. When aligned with the Holy Spirit, with the quantum field of divine intelligence, your intentions collapse probability waves into manifested reality the choice ahead, we're entering what I call the quantum consciousness era. Technology is meeting spirit. Science is confirming scripture. The materialist worldview is crumbling under the weight of experimental evidence. You have a choice. You can dismiss this as too weird too complex, too far removed from your daily life. Or you can recognize that you're living through the biggest shift in human understanding since quantum mechanics was discovered. The mystics were right. The physicists are proving it. Reality isn't what it seems. Time isn't linear. Observation creates outcome. Prayer works through quantum mechanics. Your spirit exists in a realm beyond time where all possibilities exist simultaneously. And the technology we're building right now, these quantum computers that are revealing exotic states of matter and proving the wave function is real, they're not just tools, they're confirmations, they're bridges between the material and the spiritual. What comes next? Subscribe to this channel because what's coming in 2026 and 2027 will make 2025 look tame. Quantum computing will hit the megaquap era. Machines capable of a million quantum operations. By 2027, we may reach the threshold of artificial super intelligence, where AI systems improve themselves without human intervention. But more importantly, you'll learn how to operate in this new reality, how to 
to pray quantum prayers, how to align your spirit with the quantum field, how to see the future, not through psychic powers, but through quantum entanglement with divine intelligence. The wave function is real. Your prayers work. The future is already written in quantum superposition, waiting for your observation to collapse it into reality. The question isn't whether this is possible. Scientists just proved it is. The question is, what are you going to do with this knowledge? Let me know in the comments. Has this changed how you think about prayer, the power of God or reality itself? Because trust me, we're just getting started. Hit subscribe. The rabbit hole goes deeper than you imagine. And we're about to discover exactly how deep. See you in the quantum realm. Want to be the winner of the AI age and a first mover? Transform your skills with real AI knowledge today in our AIR and D labs. We go way beyond what I can cover in a 10 minute video, specific frameworks, detailed training programs, and step-by-step systems for building a career in the AI economy. The AI revolution is creating the biggest job market transformation in history. The question isn't whether this will happen, it's already happening. Will you be positioned to benefit from it? Inside the labs, learn the exact systems my team and I are implementing right now that are delivering massive results for real businesses, including our own marketing at First Movers. Start your journey by walking through a customized pathway powered by AI. For a fraction of the price of what this level of coaching and live training should go for, I'm giving it all to you. Join us inside and learn more about the labs at firstmovers.ai forward slash labs.